when I was three. Politics was meant for me. My charm and wit and gab would see me through. The public loves the common man, a name that they can understand. So my daddy up and went and named me Hubert. I ran each race hard with strength and zeal. I knew that I had proud appeal. My dad was proud as punch of his bright son. My name became a household word. From far and near, you would hear it heard. It could have been worse. He could have named me John. They came to love me in the Senate. When I gave my word, they knew I meant it. But visions of the White House came to view. The times before I got the shaft, this time I'm waiting for the draft. And it better not turn out to be a lousy beer. I've been a movie star, it's true, but now my showbiz days are through. I want to win this presidential fight. I sought support as the race grew hotter, but I found no gold in the Arizona water. Though in his heart, he really knows I'm right. Now our diplomatic messenger, yes, I do mean Dr. Kissinger, uh, has just made our foreign policy banal. So my proposed solution is certainly not a revolution. Uh, let's just trade Henry for the Panama Canal. May I respond to that? Quiet, Henry. I was appointed to my seat. I like the job. I think it's neat. I'd like to fill that chair for four more years. As I campaigned, I didn't worry. Incumbents never have to scurry. As the man who had the job, I had no fears. But then one day, while quoting Texans, I ate some food they said was Mexican. I took a bite and smiled, but just my luck. I made a goof, and oh by golly, it turned out to be a hot tamale, and I lost the state cause I didn't peel the shot. From the time I became a starter, I felt the folks wanted Jimmy Carter, but other fellas wanted that spot too. Shriver, Benson, Harrison by, I beat him handily on each try, and I wouldn't bet peanuts on the others too. Now I'm just like the common folk, I don't drink and I don't smoke, and I keep my body clean, and that's for sure. I want to be your president and share that honored residence as long as the neighborhood is ethnically pure. <laughs> now this young fellow who just hit town, I believe his name is Jerry Brown, he's got the looks and they say he's first rate. But I'm not worried about the nomination because I think to Jerry's consternation, his parents won't let him stay up that late. <laughs> To all my friends both far and near, let me make this perfectly clear. I've got a word of advice for those four guys. Uh, they say they want my exceed. They think it's going to be a treat. Boy, are they in for a big surprise. Uh, there are those who say that I bear a grudge, that my name will always wear a smudge. To live in bitterness, that will be my fate. Uh, not me, I've got no axe to grind. I've love for all, I'm just that kind. So stuff that in your butter gate. <laughs> you boys put me with five drag line. Last I recall, a song was mine. If you want some advice, then let me give you a clue. If you want to head this great land and choose a name that'll make you take a stand. And if I ever have a son, I ain't gonna name him Ronald or Jimmy or Jerry or Richard or Hubert. I think I'll name him Sue. <laughs>